Welcome to the isolated mangrove islands. The boys just literally kicked me off. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days. I've only got my hands for you and my bare hands to hopefully catch something. I have never been on these islands before. There's a whole chain of them. I'll tell you more about it later. I reckon I can make it up here, but I keep slipping with my boots, so I'm gonna go bare feet and see if I can skate up here like a little mountain goat. Uh, 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 uh. God, whoa, look at this place. It's amazing. Look at all the mangroves in the distance over there and all the islands all the way that way. This is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna waste no more time. Let's keep moving that way. Oh, I do not want to fall. I can legit see everything down there. Dolphins, turtles, fish so far. This is absolutely out of control. It's so beautiful too. I'm gonna head to this point down there, hop in and go for a dive with the hand spear. Ooh. And then later on when the tide goes back out, I'll be looking for mud crabs and all sorts of goodness. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but I am pumped. Ooh. And I'm moving fast, boys. Ooh. Oh my God, look at the cliff face there. Imagine if it just fell when I was running along. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have done that. Don't do that. Keep moving, I'm gonna get off this cliff face. Let's go that way. <laughs> Pretty sturdy. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big jump. From what I could see, I got the perfect holding shot on a mangrove jack. When I went around the other side to find my hand spear, it had moved and there was this bloody big groper looking guilty. I think he'd grabbed the fish, took it for a little bit of a ride, ate it and dropped my spear in a different spot. But anyway, sometimes that's just how it goes. It's absolutely beautiful in there. I come back, reset, got my bag. Made the mini spear again so it's more easy to run with. I've also got to it another attachment for the front there. I'll show you that in a little bit. I think my adrenaline's running. Obviously I packed no food, so one of the main goals this trip is to try and catch something with my hand spear or my bare hands and eat it. <laughs> That's the plan anyway, but you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Just before I make it to the mangroves down there, I'm gonna soup back up here before it goes low tide and uh, hop back in the drink, swim along here and down out there and fingers crossed, I'll see you guys in the drink.
Hello, Strata. Come here. Hello, sweetie. The boys must have just dropped Strata off. She's going to join me for the rest of the trip. Come on, Strata. Ah, let's go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Into the mangroves. We made it. The isolated mangrove islands. The mangrove forests are one of my favorite places in the world, full of mystery, beauty, potential danger, and very bloody good for the ecosystem. So hold your breath. We're about to dive straight into this adventure. Let's go. Wow, here we go. It's the first time I've been to these mangroves and it's super clear at the moment. It's never this clear in these areas. We're in for a treat. <laughs> oh my God. And it's glassing back off again. Let's go. Oh, that was so close. Big mullet. Close. Very close. Big flat head. Whoa, big ray. Right here. Hello fella. There's his barb. Sort of right at my feet there. Beautiful, beautiful ray. Oh, he's making a move. See you, buddy. Let's try to swim it after it. Try to. Come on. Have a bloody good day, mate. We keep moving this way, Stratomos. Little male mud crab here. Wait, hey, watch me feet, you bugger. Hey, settle it. What the hell? You're a psycho. Whoa. They're not exactly islands, technically they're mainland, but all the river systems and creeks separate them, so there's really hundreds and hundreds of little islands everywhere all along this coast here. Wow, oh, big mullet. Mullet city. I'll try to get my spear behind it to force it out. You guys are probably saying to yourself, Brody, shoot the bloody thing with your hand spear. But it's illegal and also I never recommend it even if it's not. You don't know whether it's a male, female, good to eat or, or what. So I always recommend do not shoot them. You went around the spear. But good news, there's a big crab in this hole right now. <laughs> this never gets easy. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yes. oh. Ah, he's too deep. I can't get him and it keeps smacking my fingers. Oh, you win this round, Mr. Mudcrumb. Well played, mate. Let's keep moving. Oh, damn, I gotta pack everything up. Almost left on my bag and everything. I have literally never been to this part or this little island here in my life. So this is all new and very exciting. You can see right here where a shovino shark's been laying. That right there is where the tail was and it runs up. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, 
a few videos when I went solo camping in the new boat, I like discovered this area. And I said if that video got 50K likes, I'd come out here and do a survival. So go watch that after this one if you, do, if you don't know what I'm talking about. There's literally a turtle at my feet right now. Look at him. What is, is he stuck? I think he's stuck. He's stuck, mate. Do you need help? Just go, uh, just put your fin above the log there. You'll be right. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> See ya, buddy. How ah, cool is that, a little mud crab? Oh! <laughs> Watch out, Joanna! Joanna, you cop one. Look at that. Another one. Two in like a, a, a minute. Woo! Oh! Whoa! Oh. Hey! Settle it. Hey! 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 He's gone. You would have seen as his eyes come up, he was actually waking up and a bit confused. And when his eyes went back down, he was going back to sleep and then up and down. And I couldn't get around the back of his legs. If I just went for the body grab, he's got all these razor sharp spines there. If I went any of the legs or anything, he would have just dis dislocated them and went away. So he did have me, ah, oh, so close though. This right here is the top of a shell. I'm gonna try and dig it out. It might be really, really nice. I don't know how old it is, or what its story is, or where the slug's gone from it, but that is amazing, man. It belongs to the ocean and all its creatures, so who knows what's gonna happen in this shell, but it's not my right to take it. See ya, mate. There's a storm in the distance over there coming this way. It might bring some rain, which is bloody good news. Strider's found something here. What do you got? Oh, some money. Money, money, money. Oh, oh, he's missing a... Oh, why are you so chill? Whoa, he's been in the battles. Oh, we're going to keep that. And that's going to be, it's going to be our dinner tonight. Still got to get something with the hand spear though. Oh. 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 oh, I got it. Check it out. This guy right here is a shovel nose shark or ray. It's just a grazer. I don't want to do any harm. I just want to show the people. Let's go see him, mate. Whoa, go this way. Go the other way. So there's another one that graze these shallows just like this. Try to leave it alone. Hey, try to let it go. Go on. See you, mate. Have a bloody good one. Look at it. Hey, 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 settle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is almost done. The mud crab from before. There's his missing claw. I hung my hammock up between two mangrove trees a little bit earlier on. I'm gonna smash this and get some sleep. Tomorrow's another day. You are gonna be delicious. Oh. Ha, 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 ha.